Hello again everyone. In this video I'm going to show you my method for putting texture into die-cast metal. This texture can be used in several different ways. The most have to do with rust and weathering. But in this case I want to try to make this cruise bruiser look like it's taken a tumble or two, repainted, and then back for more. The process couldn't be more simple. We'll take the car apart and extract the metal body. This process won't work on plastic, so make sure if you plan to use it that you're using a car that has a metal body. Once the car is apart, we'll take it to the wire wheel to create the texture. You can use a Dremel also with a wire wheel attached if you don't have a large wire wheel like this one. The paint is of no concern in this particular process unless you only plan to put the texture in one place. Since I'm showcasing this technique, I plan to go a bit overboard and apply the texture on as many surfaces as possible. Simply take the car body and place it into the moving wire wheel. At first it will do its job and remove the paint. However, if you leave the body in for an extended amount of time, a texture will begin to appear. It tends to start off small, but as you continue to use the wire wheel, the texture will be more and more exaggerated. Once you get the effect you desire in one area, you can move on to the next. Do be aware that you're removing material from the car body, so if you leave a detail, say a door handle or a panel line, in the brush too long, it will remove those details. Here you can see how the car came out when I was done. How dramatic you want this to look is up to you, but do be aware that if you plan to paint the car, the paint will fill in some of the texture. So I'm not going to do my step-by-step -step on this custom, as I only want to show this particular process. This is mainly so I can reference it in future videos, but I'll go ahead and show you the end result. I decided to paint the car body green for no particular reason. I used metal paint on the interior plastic and the motor and removed the chrome from the base plate. I used black and the airbrush to add tones to the body and the motor. I placed on two water slides decals to give the car some detail. I then loaded up a dirt tone paint in the airbrush and added the dirty look. Then I used dirt pigments to add a texture to the mud. I then gave everything a matte clear coat and put the car back together. Total time for this project was about an hour. I really like this custom, but I wish I had done a little better job of applying the texture on more of the parts. I may also change out the wheels at some point, as the original wheels don't look as cool once they have all the paint on them. Alright, hope you find all this useful. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.